so I did all sorts of bits and bobs like karting and all that kind of stuff as you do. Yeah. Uh, but frankly, couldn't afford to do racing or anything like that for years. So I spent my early years building my business activities, earned money, but of course then married, a house, mortgage, children, all the expenses of life. Um, it wasn't until I was uh, about 40 that I could afford to go racing. I'd done numerous track days in various cars, 911s and stuff like that, which I really enjoyed. But what I really wanted to do was go racing. Uh, yeah. But you can't do it without money because I didn't really have the technical skills. I needed people to help me yeah. and I needed the backup and all the rest of it. So I needed the money to help pay for it. Um, and uh, back in 98, I decided, right, we can now afford it. Mum agreed that we could spend money, uh, which was great. Went and got my, did my ARDS test, got my license and bought a caterer. Did you do any like tuition or anything before you no. actually started? Or you just no. Straight in? no, no, I didn't. Close. What happened there was, um, um, Bought the case. I decided a load of research. What was I going to race? 750 Motor Club ran a championship really for catering. One mate racing. And you could buy a 1400cc Rover powered car, 130 horsepower. Um, you could buy a second hand race car for not a lot of money. And I found one, really nice condition. I paid 11 grand for it. Bought a trailer for about 1500 quid. We'd already got a Land Rover. Uh, which mum used to take you guys to school and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and um, so I thought, right, we can go racing. Decided to go racing at the start of 99. And I remember my first race, I mean, it was just amazing. I'd done a couple of track days in this track car, this race car, the Caterham. And I thought, I'm really eager for my first race. Um, unfortunately, the uh, I was on a track day sort of test day at Mallory Park must have been about March this and is this was 1999 yeah. and um, somebody dumped a load of oil at the at Devil's Elbow I came herring through Devil's Elbow hit the oil spin 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 bang 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 car was a right mess and we were only about two weeks before the first race car was a mess put it on the trailer there was one business at the time called Arrow Star who were the known sort of experts. Uh, I thought, get the car there, get it repaired fast so that I can make the first race. They made a load of promises, said they'd get it done. They didn't. I missed the first race, so I went to um, Donington. Where was that first race? Was Don it? Donington. Oh, okay. I went to watch the people racing. I should have been racing. I didn't have a car. Right. Went to watch, see what it was all about. I was really excited. Um, but um, wasn't able to race. Anyway, the car did get fixed. And I was able to make the first race for me, second race for the championship, which was Mallory Park. And um, we had about 28 cars uh, on the grid. And you go out and do qualifying, 15 minutes of qualifying um, to set the pace. I managed to qualify 21st out of 28. So I wasn't last. I was delighted with that. Nice. And I got my new yellow suit on, the yellow the car. Bananas. I was known as the Banana Man, you know. Nice. So that was all great. And then um, lined up on the on the start was, line. Was there any reason why you chose yellow? Yeah, I just fancied it, really. No, I just fancied it. It looked, it looked good. You can't buy yellow suits anymore. They oh, don't exist. Um, I mean, it fits in with the Moto Meerkat branding well, the yellow. So. I suppose it does. There you go. Mm. Bit of linkage there. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, so you started... Your first, yeah, your first race, well their second race, but your first race, what was that like? Oh, um, I mean, just amazing. The whole excitement and nervousness, because you've done your quality, you survived, great. 21st out of 28, you wait for your race to be called and you turn up, you do the um, lining up bit, you know, where you go round a lap and you all line up, two by two by two by two by two. Yep. And I'm, I'm 21st, net, you know, 22nd alongside me. And the tummy is just going unbelievable. I can imagine now. Absolutely unbelievable. Thinking, I've got to get it off the line, yeah, mustn't don't stall, stall it. it. <laughs> don't stall it. You know, make progress. Even if you get a bad start, just don't stall Do it. Do not stall it. I mean, that's awful, you know, especially, I mean, I was 21st out of 28, so I was quite a long way to the back. Yeah. 
But the, your tummy's going absolutely wild. You've already been to the loo about three times and you're in there and you, and you the lights come on and the lights go out and off and you get this incredible release, absolute release of that sort of pent up yeah. fright all goes as the adrenaline, you know, flows and you're off. Yeah. And you're in this melee of activity of cars just here, there and everywhere. Absolutely incredible. I mean, it, the relation only lasted about 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes, something like that. But I've never been so excited about something all my life. It was unbelievable. And I got through it, and I finished 13th. Nice. Uh, and I hadn't smashed the car up. I hadn't caused it to come off. I finished 13th. I thought, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Came in, and uh, uh, we're two races in a day. So the second race, you start the position you finished the first race. Right. So, uh, second race comes up, you know, about half past four or something like that. We're all getting ready for that. Uh, line up 13th. Off we go. All the same sort of scenario. Fight, fight, fight. All over the place. Short race, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it was. And I finished 12th. And I came in and I was just hooked. That was it. I knew this is absolutely what I want to do. Nice.